Hello, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lam. Today, I am so excited to share with you this brand new <gasps> Mothership 10 eyeshadow palette called Moonless Seduction. <gasps> wow. OMG! We are going to have a long video, so please grab your tea, coffee, wine. I'm going to take you through, you know, swatches, comparisons. I'm going to tell you why I got the palette, my expectation, what I have been feeling so far. We're gonna do three looks with the this is being one of the looks. <gasps> Absolutely loving this palette. Of course, it's not perfect. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends and your family. Why did I get this palette? So this palette came out a while ago. It, it is retailing for 128 US dollars. Very expensive. When I first saw it coming out, I was not very impressed with it. I didn't think this palette was gonna be very versatile. I didn't think you could create a ton of looks with it. You know, different looks in different color stories or different vibes. Uh, it's all in the same kind of story, which I understand the theming, but my I, I didn't think it was something that I need to run out and buy, especially for that price. I waited and I got it on sale. Basically, it was 40% off because I got it in a bundle. I also got Sunless Seduction that we're going to talk about in a different video and I cannot wait for you to see it. So make sure you subscribe. It was packaged really well. None of the shadows was damaged or anything, which is great. Last time that happened to um, the quad that I bought from Pat McGrath. Um, I'm glad this time it comes intact. Oh my god, she's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Divine Rose 1 uh, packaging. I know this lady has been here for a while and she has been pretty pink for a few palettes now. Hopefully the next one she will be a little bit of a different color story, right? I've heard a lot of people complaining Pat McGrath has been too pink lately because they want to be appealing to the public instead of uh, having a, you know, the cool vision. It's just not like when the brand first started, you know, with the subliminal palettes, the few first mothership palettes were really, really unique and therefore not as popular at the same time. So I get it. I just hope that we get, we will get something a little bit less pink. Made in Italy, it can be good for 18 months. There are 10 shades in here. The total weight is 19.5 grams or 0.68 ounce. Of course, with the regular Mothership palettes, you get six uh, matte and shimmer formulas here. So in this palette, we have three matte and three shimmers, and then we have four special shades. These are not her normal baked formula. It's just a, a press in kind of pan. They are more glittery colors versus having an interesting shift. It's, th this palette is predominantly very glittery. So if you like glitters, if you like sparkles, this palette is going to be great for you. Like this kind of a look, which is very popular in Asia lately. So um, I get the theme for this palette. When I can say the night sky, you know, uh, maybe this is dusk. It's transitioning from daytime to nighttime. And then all of these twinkles of the stars and the moon, different shades of the moon, I bet. We have this gorgeous, my favorite shade in this palette, VR Sexacy. It's a dual chrome. It has a beautiful base and with the twinkles on top, uh, blue uh, sparkles on top. It's just absolutely stunning. I, maybe it's the reflection of the moon in a lake at night. That would make sense. Anyway, I'm very happy with the theming of this palette. That's Another reason why I picked this one and not other Mothership palettes to get to get in my um, duo, my deal here. A color story that I will be able to easily approach and create looks with. I can use all the colors. So I'm very happy with that. With that said, let's get on to swatching. Let's do the six shades here first. So first off, I'm gonna do three in the first row, second row, and then we're gonna go for the four special shades. Skin Tense Glow, which is a beautiful brightening shade. Rosewood Romantique. This is a stunning matte 
a rosy shade. It has a lot of warmth in it, leaning a little red. Platinum Dusk, which is a sh extremely sh metallic shimmer color. It's like a gun metal. On the second row, we have Extreme Nocturne. It has a lot of gray in it, and of course brown, but more gray than brown. So it's definitely a cool shade. It has a lot of depth. When I use this color as the liner for this look, it's blendable. And being able to hold pigmentation at the same time. So this shade is extremely versatile in this palette. You can use it to deepen any look. Definitely is one of the most useful shades in the palette. This next one right here, I did use it all over my upper lid. Bronze Devotion. It's more like a satin finish. As I put it across my eyelid, it just creates the shadow as well as giving me a tiny bit of a glow, which is beautiful. Last matte in this palette, Plum Cabaret. This is a beautiful, of course, plum. It's about the same depth as Rosewood Romantique. It's leaning in a different tone. But the problem I have with these two colors is that I think they are too similar once you blend them out on the eye. Of course, if you use them in a concentrated manner, then they will look different. You can see in the demo portion, I try both of them in both eyes and they look very similar. And now we're gonna go to the four special shades. Ooh, some of these are very dry. VR Sex to See first. This is one of my favorite colors in this palette. It's like, oh my goodness, it has that wet effect. It's kind of like the reflection of the moon in the night water surface. And then we have Astro Gold Lust. Like, my description is not good enough to describe these this color. OMG, this is another beautiful shade. This reminds me of I Need a Nude by Natasha Denona, the palette that I reviewed lately. I will link it down below. Make sure you check it out for Natural Makeup Lover and Shimmer Makeup Lover. That palette is for you. And this one remind me of that. Not the same formula. Actually, this is drier than Natasha Denona formula, but it deliver the same effect. It's go again, one of those shades that you can use for any of the other shades to transform it completely. Blitz Venus. And Blitz Venus is more like a strong metallic color with glitters in it. So it's different from this formula. It's kind of like this formula, but the glitter is not in a different color. And then finally, we have Astro Lilac Aura, which as you can guess from the name. And again, it's a topper formula, so you won't be getting any base color with it. It's just going to deliver that glow. And I will try to include a footage with flash or something so you can see the twinkle better. These are the swatches of all the colors in this stunning palette on my light skin tone olive undertone. I think we can say that it works really well, especially this these kind of rose and plum go really well with my skin tone because I find that they kind of brighten my skin a little bit. I thought it would be perfect to do some comparisons next. Sunless Seduction and Moonless Seduction, you can see the rose, right? So Rosewood Romantic, this shade is the closest one. Rosewood Romantic, right here and this is the shade similar shade from the sunless seduction palette as you can see the one in the moonless seduction rosewood romantique it has more red in it whereas this one is a more terracotta shade. this color here in the sunless seduction kind of look like the, this gold here although the flip of it i think it's going to be different moonless seduction and this is sunless seduction, yeah. So sunless seduction color has peachy sparkles and it has green sparkles. This one is just straight up more like a champagne color. It doesn't really shift like the one found in the sunless seduction. Divine Rose One. Plum Cabaret and the shade found in Divine Rose One. Divine Rose One is clearly a different texture. It's a shimmer, but 
This would be beautifully paired together, in my opinion. What do you think? Brow bone highlighting kind of shade would might be a match. And then also I see the deepest shade. This is from Divine Rose 1 now, and this is from Moonless Seduction. Deepest shade in the Divine Rose 1 and Rosewood Romantic. Let me swatch um, Extreme Nocturne, but I don't think it's going to be a match with this one. Yeah, it's much deeper and it's much cooler in undertone compared to that one. One being kind of a dupe for Blitz Venus. So it's clearly different color. So I guess that's it for Divine Rose 1. Very similar vibes, right? But Divine Rose 1 would take you into a peachy direction if you would want to, and a mauve moment if you want to. It can go pretty bronzy. Versus Moonless Seduction can do this color story the same way, but it can take you to this gorgeous color story here, and it can get take you a little more plum, it can go a little lilac, and of course this color is so versatile, It's because it's so much deeper and it's not as red as the deepest color found in the Divine Rose 1. Although, these two colors are actually very beautiful. I also love this and this peach, and of course this color, the one I swatched last, it can also amp up any look. And we also have a very nice light gold. See how these two are so comparable, actually. More than you would think. Both beautiful. Okay, I think I talked enough about that one. Um, and then I have this quad. All of these palettes I have reviewed, so I will link them in my description box so you can check them out. This is the Venus in Fluos Lux Quad in Voyeuristic Vixen. So I thought we are just gonna swatch all four of these colors and on the top here. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. I need to use this quad more. It looks absolutely stunning. Skin Tone Glow. We are Sex to See. Rosewood Romantic versus that one in the quad that I thought would be very similar. This one in the quad is deeper and it has more red now <laughs> versus Rosewood Romantic. Lit Venus. Just because it kind of that intense glittery color. Again, it's more champagne. This one is leaning pink. Similar concept, but pink color story. Mini eyeshadow palette Sublime Smoke. So let me just swatch some of the shades in here. Okay, so I see three. Okay, so this, this, and the plum. Pretty similar. These two, actually, when they blend it out, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be the same. And that deepest shade is called Extreme Mahogany, which is a repeat shade. I'm gonna try Rosewood too. That's Plum Cabaret. No, it's not the similar. These are all the comparison. Let's go to the demo so I can show you the three looks and give my camera a break now. Go back in time and we're gonna regroup when it cools down and we're going to top final conclusion. I'm very excited to do. Let's just jump right into it. I need to try out this stunning eyeshadow palette. We are going to do three different looks today. I have not planned anything yet. I figure we just take it by the feelings. Now, I have primed my eyelids with Urban Decay Primer Potions or the Eye Primer, the original formula. And we're just gonna do each eye one look, right? So first look, I figure I really want to get into this purple, the duochrome shade. Actually, I need to get the names out. VR Sexy right here. Rosewood Romantique with a fluffy blending brush. Just going to blend it into the crease very lightly. Oh! That blends so easily and it's so pigmented. In the pan, I thought that, okay, maybe it's too much orange, but on my eye, I get it. Oh my god, it blend out. It has such a beautiful fade to it. So in normal daily life, I would just end here and that would be enough. But for the sake of the video, I will build it up. This flat brush, my classic that I always use. Very flaky color. A little bit come onto the brush. Okay, definitely beware fallout. 
That's beautiful. It has such a subtle glow to it. This so far reminds me of I Need a New by Natasha Denona, that palette. It gives me the similar feeling. I think I want to pause there with the upper lash line and move on to the lower lash line now. Rosewood Romantic on a more denser brush now and I'm going to place it very tightly on the outer corner. because I wanted to try using a more dense brush and use it as more of like packing it in and see how much pigmentation I can get. Definitely is a medium to deep kind of eyeshadow. Eyeliner brush, I'm going to dip into Rosewood Romantique also, line underneath. Don't worry if it looks weird right now, it's not the finished look yet. We're going to fill in this highlight part of the lower lash line and I'm going to use this same flat brush, Blitz Venus. Just tapping here. I think I'm gonna intensify VR Sexacy with my finger just to see how... oh, oh. Skin Tone Glow. Wow, even that shade is extremely pigmented. It's just, I hope you can see the differences. Lit Venus clearly has more champagne in it, peachiness in it. And then this uh, VR Sexacy definitely has a blue glitters with like a rose kind of backdrop color, like a base color, which is going perfectly with Rosewood Romantique. So I'm going to perfect this look a little bit and I will be right back. I added some of my Stila Pencil Eyeliner on the upper lash line, you know, just run it along and then intensify this color a little bit on the bottom lash line and then that's it, the finished look. This is usually what I, you know, mascara is the last thing, but we're not gonna do that. Um, so let's move on to the next one. I want to go more of this route right now. What's this color called? Plum Cabaret. So we are going to do that. Let's try how much I can keep the pigmentation right here. So I just want a veil of this shade with a tiny bit of a concentration on the outer corner. Uh, so far though, I can't really tell a difference between this shade and the rose wood. I blend them out a lot. I'm losing a lot of the unique color and instead I have a wash of color. But I wish these two colors can take me to more directions. Let's try Astro Gold Lust. Yeah, it's definitely different. This one, it is a champagne and this one is clearly a gold glittery and it even has a thinner base. So most of the this color is just glitter. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's absolutely beautiful in person. There is a little bit of fallout, so beware. And for the lower lash line, I figure we're just gonna do very similarly to the other eye and see. So I'm going to to go into Plump Cabaret again with this packing brush. I am going to build it up a little bit more on the upper lash line. Eyeliner brush into Plump Cabaret and just carve out that eye. This packing brush and we're going to try out Astro Lilac Aura next. This one right here is also a special shade. My plan is to do all kinds of random colors just to see how well these colors work together. What I did was that I used a lot more of Plump Cabaret and just keep going in and intensify. I wanted to see if it has enough depth and I had a lot of difficulty building it. I could have used this shade, um, Extreme Nocturne. A lot of fallout for these textures. So beware of that. So far, these shimmers, oh well, I've only used this one and it's very pigmented. It has a very brightening effect. I use it for both eyes, for the inner corner. The looks are very similar though. You can see all the colors, although they are distinct 
notably different when they, you put them next to each other. Pretty close when you look at me like from a distance, right? And of course, I try to keep it similar. It's a similar style of makeup, but they're different colors. So I did expect them to look a little bit more different from one another. Let's just put it at that. Um, so let me take a break. I'm tired. <laughs> Artistic processes take a lot of energy, okay? So I'm going to take a lunch break. We're going to come back and do the final look. Luna! A special guest. For the final look, let's do something really beautiful for the rest of the video. So the stakes are high. Bronze devotion on the lid. Um, just to start with, let's see if I can use this as a one and done color, to be honest. So I'm dipping into that shade with a fluffy blending brush. Spread that color across the lid. Okay, it's definitely one of those shimmery formula that you can use for a transition shade. You barely see any sparkles. When you use it as a one and done color, it just creates this gorgeous transition of like a slight shimmer into nothingness, you know? And because it's a shimmer formula, it's more movable. So it has some pink in it. When you blend it out like this, then you can see, okay, the, the pink undertone pop more. I do really want Bliss Venus back on my Egg style, so I'm gonna do that. This dense brush and dip into Rosewood Romantique lash line and just give it a little bit of a deeper outer corner that's all i'm building it underneath here as well as usual when you are doing that asian look this one bliss venus bam I think the upper lash line um it's a little sad astro gold lust and tap that on top because I really want some of that gold shimmer to tie the look to the upper lash line because we have a lot of gold up there. Extreme Nocturne. Um, I kind of did already start at that and blend it in as an eyeliner for the upper lash line. Skin Tense Glow, of course, for the inner corner highlight. You really do not need much of this color. Delicious. And then I thought we can use this palette for blush. I'm going to use the same color that I used for the eye, uh, Rosewood Romantic, and use it as blush. It's extremely pigmented, so I would go lighter hand. Definitely rose. Wow, this is so cute. It definitely is a good blush. So, so far this palette is gorgeous for anyone who likes sparkles. I wasn't impressed, to be honest, looking at this palette yesterday. The more I use it though, the more I really get it. So let's get back to the video. I hope you enjoy the demos. I spend a lot of time working on those looks and making sure I test out all the colors in this palette. Smaller palette like this, a tan pan color is a lot easier to use all the colors in one review video versus something like this, which just came in the mail. Oh my God, I'm gonna be busy for the next few months testing these out. Retro Glam, Natasha Denona, I bit the bullet. We are talking about this one today. <laughs> Sparkles, you know, in all variations, all sizes, we have like a shimmer, a sheen, you know, a golden sheen, very strong metallic silver. And then we have things that shift, you know, and then intense sparkles. Uh, these two shades are very dry compared to the rest of the palette. Even compared to something like Natasha Denona, I need a nude kind of topper, glitter topper formula. This one is a lot drier and I feel like they are chunkier glitter. So the glitters are bigger. But if you want to create a soft look, this palette definitely could help you with that. But making it deeper, you just use this color. 
Pomegranate is very good with catering toward all skin colors, and I think this palette is a shining example of that. I think why it looks so boring online versus when I actually use it on my eyes is because all of these color kind of look similar in the pan. They all look like white shimmery shades, so it looks redundant. Until I use the palette, then these color, the shimmers in all the white shades, they shine because they all look different in person. And these two transition shades here are beautiful. They are very similar. So although they look like they could take you to a plum and a rose directions, when you blend them out in the on the eye. When you mix them with a few other colors and deepen them with this one, they look very similar. I thought these ones were gonna be the problem where they are redundant, but no, they are not. And then these two are now like redundant. I like this palette, but I don't know if I love it as of this point. And of course, I'm going to continue to use it. I will keep you posted. I think we're gonna have to jump back on here in the next few weeks and do like a get ready with me and update you on this palette. You know, maybe I need to study a little bit more, do my homework. Oh, we did not use this color on the eye. I don't think the uh, platinum dusk. So next time, we're gonna have to utilize her. Okay, that's it for this video. I just hope that uh, amongst all the thousands of reviews out there, this video helps you in any way and that you're enjoying it. As of right now, I would not recommend buying this palette uh, full price. I would recommend waiting for a sale. Let me know your thoughts below and let me know if you are excited for the future videos, you know, sunlit, seduction, retro glam. Um, give this video a thumbs up and have a great one. I will see you in my next video. Until next time, please don't flop.